Thank you, Tissa. You Albany football coach every Wednesday here in studio with us as we talk Great Danes football on Big Board Sports and your home for you Albany football 104.5 the Team ESPN Radio. This week's game on ESPN3 and also because of Yankee baseball will be on Rewind 105.7. Good morning, coach. Good morning, Roger. How are you doing? Chris. Coach. Good to good see to you, man. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll five o'clock shadow. I guess well, showing more than you that, that probably. On the radio probably didn't make a lot of sense <laughs> right there, you know. But yeah. well, I have to do the coaching show right later. Say, well, you're keeping that for the coaching show. Yeah, yeah, I'll keep it for the coaching show. That's the look for your coaching show. I got show a little today. bit too. You look rugged. Just yeah, thanks. Know. And I have no voice, so what are you going to do? Nick Bonarigo told me he sent you a nice text about your voice to feel better. Yeah, he yeah. He, yeah, he, he did he send did, me. Yeah, he, yeah, he, he did. I got that yeah. text. Yeah, and I saw him last night. I was sitting with Nick last night uh, at the coaches versus cancer basketball event. Uh, well, you must have been happy with the Monmouth game. Now, it looked like Monmouth put a lot of guys in the box, right, Try to stop you with the run, which Villanova may be doing exactly the same thing, and Will Brunson passed the test in a big way. Yeah, he's he's growing up, and, you know, and it's hard, you know, these young quarterbacks, you know, when you're a college coach, you, you go through these times where you're building some – your game experience is critical. You're seeing it on the offensive line with those young guys. I think that uh, Will is in that process right now. It was his fifth start. He needed to step up and play a good game. I thought he played a brilliant first half. Yeah. Second half was kind of a little out of whack, but it really I wouldn't hold him responsible. I think you know some of the penalties and some things we had, and 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 I was conservative in the second half because I really felt we had a stranglehold on the game. Um, I, I didn't think it was necessary to come out firing, so um, he we slowed him down a little bit. But he played a good game and. Um, we need that. I mean, we're not going to go anywhere just running the ball. I've said that over and over. It's nice when you can do it, but we, we need to be able to throw the football, and, and uh, I thought he answered the bell. And I thought Nevin Sussman played really well in, his, in the time that he was out there. A little coming out party for uh, Gerard Diggs as well. Five receptions and showing you a little bit of what he can do. Yeah, well, that's a you know part of the – growth of a quarterback is the confidence in a receiver to go get a ball. You know, and you, you don't – anybody, any league, anywhere, quarterbacks – if a kid's 14 for 15 in the first half, like Will was, there's probably was three or four mm-hmm. great catches, you know, mm-hmm. and there were, you know, I think, um, Diggs gives us an explosive receiver, which we've lacked, um, uh, for want of a better word, someone that could just run by you once in a while. Um, but I think, you know, with Bra- between Diggs and Harris and, and, and Croc has been oh, really yeah. good. And, and then the emergence of, uh, Donovan, Donovan at the, the slot and the punt returner. I thought he was electric in the uh, game. Electric I mean, at yeah. punt returns. He was scaring me. I was scared. I literally was, my coaches are, I'm very conservative at times with kicking game things and I just want the ball. I don't want to mess around. Just fair catch it. And, <laughs> right. But he had me. I was like, I'm go catch yeah. it. Do what does he run the 40? What, like he, he's, he, for people who don't know, he was a, tr- he was a yeah, track athlete. He's a, he, we knew he was a great athlete. He's just settling in. He just got here. You yeah. know, I mean, it, again, this game experience thing, you see every game, he gets a little better. He's a good weapon. And, um, you know, he, I think he was, he had six returns for 94 yards, which is spectacular average of 15 yards plus an, a, a, a catch, which is unreal and punt. But what people don't know is we had two called back for nine, about 80 yards more. He could have had 170 yards returns. Um, and he's fearless. And he's, he's, and he really the thing, is. The thing he does is he, he, he's smooth and he catches the ball, you know, and, and that's, he's confidence back there. I, I, on and off when I've been around good punt, ret- punt returners are just a different breed, you know, and he, he literally was electric. I, I thought uh, everybody was talking about him after the game and, and, uh, certainly other coaching staff had to be stunned by it, what, you know, and hopefully he could bring that electricity to, to our team as a receiver as well mm-hmm. when I think I start seeing that. So Diggs and, and, and uh, D-Mac, we call them, have both really added to our team, and they've made our quarterbacks better players because they can go get the ball a little more. And, and getting and having Brad back is big. Brad's just such a steady yeah. influence out there. And Diggs last year was at Nebraska. No, Diggs was at Lackawanna Junior College last oh, okay. year. Right? But um, he had the Donovan was at Nebraska. Yep. Okay. Donovan, 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 Donovan out of high We recruited Donovan out of high school. Uh, Joe Bernard coached him in high school. Um, he left, and then Donovan transferred to a school in Jersey. We wanted him right out of high school, but he 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 wanted to try to walk on. So he he walked on in Nebraska. You know, two years later, he calls us and said, I, "I've had enough of this. I want to try to have a chance to play." We were thrilled to t- have him back. Um, he's he's been more than what I expected, to be honest. And he's got a lot of it's it's early though. It's just like anything. It's like. I, I'm always cautiously optimistic, but it's the same thing with Carl and 
these young guys, you know, Donovan's only a sophomore, and, and um, hopefully he can continue to help our team. He, But those receivers are going to give us a chance. You know, if you load the box at your own peril, mm-hmm. and, and we've got to be able to get better and better. And they're not. We're certainly nowhere near where we need to be to keep the box clearer, but yeah. we certainly have enough threats now. The team's got to be careful loading the box. All right, so we know what Carl Mofor was able to do weeks one and two, and then you get EB back last week. And, and I know you talked about this post game. If you saw the highlights we ran on Channel 13, that play fake with the option for Will Brunson, and he takes it 20 yards because the entire defense, in fact, even I'll throw her under the bus, Ashley Miller thought the ball was in EB Token's stomach as well. And there goes Brunson 20 yards. He obviously created other opportunities too, right? Did you feel like the defense, Monless defense, understood what EB had done last year and what he potentially can do, and how does that change the dynamic of your offense? Well, I, I think that people know we're going to run the ball, and I don't know that they – EB certainly draws a crowd when he runs a ball, and, and, and they know we're going to give it to him. Um, but we've been successful on that play mm-hmm. in the past because we have good running backs. And, and so, um, yeah, EB certainly a, was an impact in the game in, in some regards. I thought, you know, the difference in the game, though, was because they loaded the box to stop our running game, we were able to expose them in the secondary. That's a critical piece of this. And I've been saying it for, you know, if we don't get the ninth or tenth guy out, literally we get nine guys in the box at times last year in Villanova or at the New Hampshire game last year. We, we ran great, but they had, I think they might have had 12 guys in the field at the time. They had so many guys in the box. So it's well, Villanova's going to do the same thing. Right? Everybody does. You know, Villanova's, Villanova's is always does it in, in, um, and they're good against the run. They're excellent. And, 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 um, so, yeah, the the quarterbacks got to play well. Villanova is really they're 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 one of the the best um, uh, being where they're supposed to teams I've ever seen. They're mm. very hard to you know we had some, we knew we had some open shots against. So Thomas. they're disciplined, like you're they're not very be able disciplined. To move them. Yeah. They're disciplined. They're smart kids. They know where to be. They play like our defense in many ways. They're different styles, but it's the same. Eliminate big plays and. You know, we, we only gave up two big plays Saturday against a really big play offense in Monmouth and, and, and that's the key to our success. We're going to have to, we're going to have to get by them. We're going to have to beat them a little bit because when they're not going to let us run the ball, I mean, they're certainly are not going to let us, no matter who the running back is, run the football. So, um, you know, we have our work cut out, but the EB, you know, we're still, he's, he's not out of the woods and, and we're, you know, we're, we're waiting to see, um, if he even practices today, so you know that's going to be the there a chance thing. he doesn't play. Yeah, there's a there's a, a, a definitely a chance, and you know we're we're still like I said we're still evaluating him and and where he's at. He did he get re injured in the game? No, he didn't. He just he, he just yeah, just the normal. <clears throat> you know, see how he recovers, and and um, we'll we'll see. I'm, I'm hopeful he's going to practice today, but but I don't know that right now. Well, he looks some sort of fired up playing on Saturday night. I can tell. Yeah, you. he was he was he. Was, I thought in the fourth quarter he was back to being old EB. We ran him. We only ran him 16 times or so, but but we let him play most of the game. You know, some people ask me about why Carl didn't play more, but we were really trying to shake the rust off EB. Yeah. And see where he's at. He 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 was really good in the in the fourth quarter. Mm-hmm. Um, unknown, you know, he he had sixty seven yards, but we really had an opportunity for a big run and just blew a block, or he would have probably ended up with a fifty sixty yard touchdown run and end the game. But you know, it, it looked the kids the kids' health. As I said it all along, his health and mental well being is the key. Um, we want him to be where he needs to be to help us, and and uh, we'll see where he's at. Well, certainly today's you know a big day for us to get through practice and see how he feels. There was a big announcement yesterday because in 2021, you Albany will open up at, we'll tell you where and how the schedule, at least at the beginning of the season, providing some big opportunities for the Great Danes program. That's next on Big Board Sports, 104.5 Team ESPN Radio.